I would say that my question is, what is this? Why is it that sometimes this absence is quote unquote present and sometimes that's really not here. So there's like interference. That's a that's a prescriptive question. Okay. Because it's asking I could say X, then you can say then you're gonna say, okay, well I'll practice more of that. It doesn't it doesn't go anywhere. How long have you been doing what you do? It's it's been quite a while. It's been like five years now. Okay. And have you succeeded? Have you succeeded at what you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say that I'm I'm pretty good at what I do. How good? How good are you at I'm, what you do? I'm currently competing in the world championship, and I'm first position. So the world championship of what? Trading. Well, what does that mean? That you're in the that, world championship of trading. What does that mean? Uh, there's, it's like competition between uh, traders. That's so when that you takes... so so when you trade, that's your that's your business, right? Yeah, that's how you make a living, right? Yeah. So if you live, if you make a living as a painter, then how good you are depends upon the quality of paintings that you make. If you make your living as a um, you know, uh, uh, any kind of art, you know, it, there's a, there isn't like the person himself, like there's a, there's a metric that one can judge. And in, in art, that metric is usually one, oneself. One knows the quality of what one does without lying to himself. But when, when one trades, then would you say the metric is money? It seems like the most money-related profession is investing and trading. So is it the is the is the would you say that the the metric and the and the um, judge of success is in the in this particular in that particular profession? It's money. It's, it's that's all it is. Is that is that correct? As a soccer player, it's goals. As a as a basketball player, it's points. As a as a car manufacturer, it's number and quality of cars. As a painter, it's the quality of paintings. In investing and trading, it's money. It's how successful are you at doing that? And the more successful you are, it's a pretty hard line black and white metric of money. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, have you made a lot of money since that's your metric in the field that you have chosen? Have you made a lot of money? Yeah. Okay. But so, go ahead. Uh, okay, that's it, it's quite difficult here because even if I do make a lot of money. I would say that I'm I'm finding a lot of satisfaction and I feel that my life is I don't want to say complete but and that's fine I, uh, that's fine yeah, I mean what yeah. you could get you could get satisfaction from pulling weeds that's fine I mean yeah. satisfaction satisfaction is fine that's an internal metric for for what one does, and um, that is perfectly acceptable. Um, you know, there's, but there is an extrinsic metric, and um, what I find is that most people who call themselves X or Y or a painter or a whatever or a trader, investor, or um, you know, whatever it is. Um, they're not really good at it. And I think 
People are generally frauds. I don't trust them. Very few people are very good at what they do. So, I mean, the fact that you get satisfaction out of it, I, I appreciate that and I respect that because I satisfaction from what you do is absolutely um, that's gold. Okay? Um, and it and it doesn't and not and neither does it mean that you have to be successful. As on an external metric, it doesn't mean that either. And that's fine. Whatever a human being is satisfied by. And if you I don't care if you make one dollar, that's fine. If you're satisfied by it, that's fine. Um, but that type of idealism usually is for the books and the, the textbooks. It really isn't real life. Um, it, humans really aren't that way. And, in, in, and frankly, if they are that way, they wouldn't usually choose investing or trading as a, as, a, um, as, a, as a career generally. I mean, I can't speak for everybody. Nothing is absolute in that regard. Um, but, but I raise suspicion and I raise caution. I raise red flags. I raise doubts. And um, when someone says I do it for satisfaction, I, I, I find that suspicious because that same person usually is struggling for money. And, and that's fine, too. Like, like if someone if you look into someone's heart and they're struggling for money, but they're satisfied with their life. I mean, that's I think that's wonderful. That's 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 fantastic. It really is. But that creature is not really the typical situation. Um, so, I, you know, it's very easy to hide behind things and say, I'm in trading. I don't make a lot of money or I do make a lot of money. But in satisfaction, um, you may want to think about that. You may want to think about the veracity of your answer, because I could line up 100 people here who do, who do that profession. And if I hear I like about it's about satisfaction to me, um, I, I don't I don't think that's the whole answer. And rarely do humans give the whole answer. And rarely are humans truly exceptional at what they do. About how we only um, give half answers, it sparked something in me. I was wondering if you would be open to just elaborating on that a little bit more. Why is it that we only give ourselves half? Well, I mean, what's the what's the question? I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. But why? why well, what's the question? Well, I, you know, I I listened to your I purchased one of your direct podcasts um, about a week ago about how the mind lies, and I've listened to it quite a lot in the last week, and lots of different well, things. Well, here, here the, the the reason. You know, there's a lot of posing going on in the world, right? Right. And so, and and none of this is like, as always, as I, nothing is wrong. But I don't like fake. Um, I don't like artificial. It's it's nonsensical. I don't I don't care who you are, how high you are, low you are, sideways you are. Doesn't like there's honesty and um straightforwardness and um th this there's you know everything is like showmanship you know i'm in the trading business but i don't really care about money that's bs i mean that's just not you wouldn't have chosen trading then right now so like i i i i respect the fact like everything if you're good at anything there's absolutely an element of art in there okay so that's it and the better you are at it, the much more it's art than science. But there is, there are hard, you know, you know, um, X's and O's. There are X's and O's, definitely. Um, but X's and O's are nothing close to everything because then you can just give everybody the X's and O's and they all become great. And that isn't the case. So, um, so this, like, I'm satisfied. You know, and even though I'm in trading, I just um, I, I don't like no one gives the whole story and they don't have to give the whole story. And I'm not asking them to give the whole story. But if I'm asked a question. And. I sense an incomplete answer. Then, you know, I, 
all over the all over the web see people saying you know like uh i'm a what is it you know i'm a i'm an investor or i'm a you know um and they're broke i mean it's just nonsense okay? right i'm and sorry I, I and, and, and and i have i have no problem i have no problem with anyone being broke none i respect a person who is poor, middle class, or I don't, or rich, I don't care. It's, but it's everything is like, look at me, you know, I'm something I'm not, and um, so I, I tend to have a keen eye for for those things, and I, and people don't like to talk directly, and I thought that they should, not that they, whatever. I'm just talking about. What what happens you know, without any kind of judgment as to they should talk directly or they shouldn't? It doesn't matter. It just they don't. Um, so if you're an investor, if you're a trader, the very, I mean, literally, no pun intended, the very currency is money. That's what that's what it is, right? Um, right. If you're, I agree. If you're if you're a painter. Yes. The currency isn't money. I don't care if you don't sell a single painting for all your life. And many of the great painters, you know, of old did not and they starved and but they were works of art. And so if you're a painter, if you're a writer, your metric isn't money. And while you may want to absolutely absolutely just to survive and that's great. But but the, your that the the field that you chose its metric isn't money. Its metric is the purity of the art. Its metric is its metric is the quality of the art. Its metric is is the magnificence of the art that is created. If it makes money, fine. If it doesn't, it's fine. But if you choose trading, if you choose investing, then you are judged by money. How good were your trades? Were you successful or not? How how successful were your investments? Now that doesn't. Now you can make a hundred investments and only two of them be successful. That's fine. That's that's how it usually works, anyways. But you but you've made a lot of money because that's what it is so like i i don't no one likes to say that because it doesn't sound nice right i don't like sound nice it just it is what it is right and i i completely agree with you on this sorry i think my question I had perceived the context a little bit differently. I agreed with you on all of that. I think if somebody's trading, that's obvious. I mean, everything you, every task has a metric and you can just benchmark it against that metric. That's fine. What I was more thinking about, what it prompted in me, I guess, was this question about like, oh, I think I, like, I see myself sometimes only saying half the truth to myself. And why am I doing that? I guess it's the same. It just struck me as, oh, that's a similar behavior as what I'm doing to myself and well, I truth I guess... is not I mean truth is truth is a um you know it's kind of like uh eating fire for breakfast. I mean <laughs> it's a it's a it's not I'm not even gonna call it a learned behavior because it never even gets learned. It's just too much. Um so truth is not where anyone goes because it's uh for various reasons, I mean, it's too direct. It's too, um, it's too in your face. It's too, it's too hot and fiery and uh, dangerous and uncomfortable. And 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 then the, and by the way, this doesn't mean truth that you tell someone else something bad about them be, because you're speaking the truth. I mean, that's nonsense. That has nothing. It's it's between you and yourself, right? I mean, just truthful to yourself. Um, that it. it that's not that isn't that isn't the environment in which a human being is born is raised lives functions and so if something is not an environment in which a human being has lived their whole life why would they tell the whole story why would they not lie to themselves why would they not um why would they not play these games? Everyone's everyone's playing games, but why would they not play those games when that's all you've ever known? And everyone that you know 
That's all they've ever known. You've never seen anything in it. Yeah. And, you know, I, I listen a lot to not just the things that you've said, but also things like the Tao and how there's this, you know, you to create the environment, to immerse yourself or, or, or I guess cultivate more opportunity to be exposed to the truth so that you can, you know, um, if not it's not even a comfort thing. It's, I guess it's just like change your environment uh, with therefore it's all the about path. exposure it's all right. about exposure right what you and expose yourself most to that's what gets into you and i find myself when i do that i like over the years i have been able to do that like a little bit more a little bit more but then i hit this like point of um almost feeling sick like physically sick when I think about, oh, I'm going to listen to something else or I'm going to read that thing again or I'm going to sit here and tell myself that truth that I know about myself, I feel, find this, like, sense of, like, almost feeling physically ill at the thought of doing that. And I guess I just wondered if, like, that's something that you could speak to or if that's something that you've experienced as well. Like, is this... I, I mean, I don't know. I don't, it's difficult for me to articulate the question because it's like a physical feeling that I'm trying to describe. I don't really have much more to say. Okay. Uh, the last questioner, you were saying about exposure. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, uh, lately, as I've been exposed to your work, uh, my life changed drastically and uh, I find myself living in such state that I never want to go back and I want to ask you uh, but still I listen to other people's uh, just like as entertainment like other gurus in the quotes and uh, will I will be okay in this state or going back to society even remembering your work as a bad rock of truth will i be polluted and is it possible for me to go back into this old state that i don't desire to live in anymore i hope i i mean you can you can i mean the best answer i can give you is see for yourself um you know everything has everything has a consequence whether it's so-called good or so-called bad um so it, you know if it's it's all it's all about it's all about the exposure so whatever you expose yourself to is a consequence um but but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't risk the consequence it's up to you so i mean i could tell you to not listen to somebody else or you can listen to whatever you whatever whatever you want um all i can tell you is that what you expose yourself to most is what goes inside you 